untold truth about money. Hidden secrets on how to build wealth from nothing. Have you ever wondered how to build wealth from absolutely nothing? Well, today I'm going to share with you the untold truth on how to build wealth from scratch from absolutely nothing. Well, stay tuned because what you're about to learn could absolutely change your financial destiny. Work hard and you will get a lot of money. That's an absolute lie. It's a joke that is absolutely not true. If that was the case, the people that work the hardest in this world will be the richest. However, what you probably find, the people that work the hardest are usually the poorest people in the world. So that is not true. Working hard will not allow you to become rich and have lots of money. We now know that this is to be true. So what is it? What is the thing that allows me to become rich and make a lot of money? The truth and the hidden secret is the money that you receive is directly in line with the value that you bring to the world. So you can work hard. You can be on the street. You can be a street sweeper. You can be grinding so, so hard for the rest of your life, but it does not bring that much value to the world. It is a good job and I want those streets to be tidy. However, if you can bring value to a lot of people in the world, in this world of the internet, you have no excuse. You can reach the entire world in this world with the internet. You have YouTube, for example. You have so many different websites and short social platforms. So you can bring value to the world. If you bring value to the world, the more people that you bring value to, the money you receive is directly in line with that. For example, Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon, the amount of value that he has brought the world is unreal. He has built a platform for people to buy products, usually at a very cheap price, to compare products, to look at the reviews on products all in one place. So we don't need to go to the shop anymore. We do not need to go to the cities and town centers anymore. Jeff Bezos has literally made cities and town centers almost useless because he's brought something better. He's brought something more and more valuable to the world. If what he brought was not as valuable, it would not have worked. The world responded to his product, to Amazon, the what he brought to the world and said, yes, that is valuable. And now he's one of the richest men in the world. He brought value to the world. So the money you receive is directly in comparison to the value that you bring to the world. It's not about how hard you work. However, working hard does help you bring more value to the world, but it's not the main thing. The main thing is how much value you can bring to the world. So what is it that you are good at? What profession do you do? I'm sure whatever profession that you do, you are better than average than the average person out there on the street at that one particular thing that you do. Are you a cleaner? Are you a bricklayer? Are you a teacher? Anything, whatever you do, if you do it as a professional, you're probably better than most people at that one thing. So try and focus on that. What hobbies do you have? you're probably better at the majority of people at that particular hobby. So if you can teach people about the thing that you do as a profession or about the thing that you do as a hobby, if you can bring that online to the world, for example, on YouTube, if you can teach people, there are so many beginners in that industry that you are already good at. So many beginners. Year on year, there are more and more beginners starting over. So year on year, you can keep bringing value to those people. So you can bring that knowledge that you have got and bring that out there. For example, I am a certified financial planner and I want to bring that value to you, to you people watching these videos. I want to bring that value to you so you can understand my financial advisor, my expertise. I want to bring that value to you and I want to be as valuable to as many people as I possibly can. You need to change your mind from a scarcity mindset to an abundant mindset. And I'm going to give you one little trick. I'm sure that you've heard this a million times before. But if your parents or someone or you have ever said that you cannot afford this, if someone says your spouse or partner says, I want this, and you say, we cannot afford this, you have a scarcity mindset. Now, I can feel that little bit of anger there for you because you might think I cannot afford it. So why wouldn't I say that? So I'm going to tell you a little trick, just a tiny little trick. Going forward, you're not going to say we cannot afford this. Going forward, what you're actually going to say is how can we afford this? That is the little difference from abundance 
from scarcity to abundance. When you are scarcity, you're putting a full stop on the matter saying, we cannot afford this. When you are abundant, you are changing that statement into a question of how can we afford this? Our brains kick in now then and go, right, we have a problem. We need to find a solution. We need to say, how can we afford this? And work on that together and get to the point of being able to afford it. That's the difference between the abundance mindset. You will find a way. And the more you put that into practice, the more you start thinking outside the box, the more creative that you become, you create different types of income streams because you've, you're you just constantly figuring out different ways to make money for the things that you want because you keep asking, how can I afford this? Let's think, how can I afford this? Let's keep, think of different ideas and get to the point that we know how to afford this. You will, over time, you will change from a scarcity mindset to an abundant mindset when you start creatively thinking about different ways on how you can afford the things you want in life. Set clear financial goals. I was never taught as a young man how to set clear financial goals. I would just work, money would come in, I would spend the money and it would go rinse and repeat month on month. But when I learned how to set clear financial goals, how to become financially free, financially independent and retire early and live a rich and fulfilling life. When I learned this, I realized I need to create those financial goals. I need to create those timelines of I want to be at this point. I want to become rich, free, independent and retire early in eight years, in five years, in 10 years, whatever you think is realistic. If your goal is nothing, I guarantee you will hit that goal every single time. So make it challenging. Focus from everything to one thing and focus on that goal. Focus on that path. Set those clear goals. I want to become rich. I want to become a millionaire within 10 years. I want to retire within five years. I want to start my own business today. It's something like that. These are the clear goals that you need to create. So you have a path to follow. Make everyone aware, all your friends and family aware of your goals and your targets and tell them that they need to respect your goals and targets. In a friendly way, in a respectful way, tell them that they need to respect your goals and targets and they will, they absolutely will. You have to set clear financial goals and targets. At least if you aim for nothing, you will hit it every single time. If you aim for something, you might hit, you might miss, but I guarantee you'll be going in the right direction. There's a target over there. I'm not going to shoot over here. I may miss, but I'm going in the right direction. So you need to set clear targets, clear goals, clear financial goals and timelines on when you want to achieve those goals and work towards them. You need to save aggressively and intentionally spend your money. What I mean by intentionally spending your money is not just have some money in the pot and it goes out here, there and everywhere and you have no idea where it's gone. Intentionally spend it. The day you get paid, you know how much money you have. You know, you give that money an order. You tell that money, you need to go here for my expenses. You need to go here for my needs. You need to go here for my wants and you need to go here for my enjoyment. I'm giving my money orders on payday. You must give the money orders and commands on payday. You must be intentionally spending and saving aggressively. If you want to build wealth from nothing, you must be saving aggressively. You will also need to invest aggressively as well, but we're going to talk about that a little bit later in this video. But for now, you need to intentionally spend, give your money, orders and commands and save aggressively. After saving aggressively, you need to start investing. You need that money to go to work. You've given it orders. You now need to go to work. You now need that money to go to work. That money is your army. You've given it commands. You need to tell your army, your soldiers to go to work, to get more resources. How you do this, you put it into the stock market. Click on the link below, join a trading 212 and get a free share worth up to 100 pounds by clicking my link below. You can invest in the stock market, invest in index funds, invest in the S&P 500, invest in the FTSE 100. That is the top, that's the top 100 companies in the United Kingdom. Invest in index funds are great because you do not need to manage them. They manage themselves. They are the market itself. They are the world or the country's economy itself. You don't need to manage it. It will manage itself. 
So you need to get your money, your savings growing now. Put that money to work. You need your gold to make silver. You need your silver to make bronze and you can then go and spend the bronze. That's how it works. Forever, you keep spending the bronze while, while your gold and silver are putting itself to work. They keep working hard for you. You're not doing anything. That money works 24 seven. It doesn't need to sleep. It does not need to rest. It does not need any of that. It is put to work and it continuously keeps working for you. You're leveraging the power of your money. When you put your money into the stock market, when you put it in the index funds, you're putting your gold and your silver to work and you're going out and spending your bronze. It's the infinite money glitch. It never runs out because you're just spending the bronze like your gold and silver. You're never spending your gold and silver and your gold and silver just keeps generating, creates more and more of itself. That gold keeps creating more silver and that silver keeps creating more bronze. So the money is an infinite money glitch when you keep investing. Once you get to a certain point of investment, once you get to your crossover point in investments, it's an infinite money glitch. It will never run out. If you are liking this type of content, if you want to know how to retire early, become rich, live a rich and fulfilling life, become a millionaire, then subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell so you can see all the future videos on these topics. Educate yourself on personal finance. This is massive when it comes to rewiring your brain and changing your financial destiny forever. Read books, listen to audio books. I know a lot of people, whenever I mention this to a lot of people that don't really want to know and don't really care because that's the way the world works. When I mentioned this to these people, I hear a list of excuses. I have no time to read a book. Life is too busy. There's too much stuff going on. Well, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Do you take a shower? Do you go to bed on an evening? Do you commute to work? All these are situations where you can listen to an audiobook. When you're in the shower, you can listen to an audiobook. When you're commuting to work, you can listen to the audiobook. When you're going to bed at night, when you're probably scrolling on your phone, you can read an audiobook. You can listen to an audiobook. This is what I do. Every single opportunity I get, I listen to audiobooks on personal finance, on personal development. Before I started this, the first book I ever read was The Richest Man in Babylon. And I'm so happy that was the first book I ever read because it's one of my favorites. And from then on, I've listened to it every single year without fail because it's such a good book. I absolutely love that book. That book changed my destiny forever. That sent me on a path to reading countless books on personal finance. I honestly, I would take a guess and say it's probably in the region of one to 200 different books on personal finance that I have read ever since reading that very first book, The Richest Man in Babylon. If I never read that very first book, my destiny would still be the same that it always was. I would work on a close to minimum wage job for the rest of my life till I'm about 70 years old. And then I would retire with aching muscles and aching bones and not really be able to do many things. But reading that book and reading all those other books in the shower, going to bed, going for walks, on commutes. These are all the times that you read these books. Doing that has changed my destiny forever. I genuinely said, before I read these books, I said, now I understand what life is. I understand my future. I know what to expect. And I actually came to accept that this would be the destiny of my life. However, when some kind of spark happened inside of me, and I read that first book and I continue to keep reading and listening to those other books. It changed my destiny forever. It rewired my brain and my entire future and the bloodlines of my family and their future has changed forever just by educating myself on personal finance. Because when you know personal finance, people within your inner circle, they start to know, they pick up on the things that you've learned the changes that you've made that picked up on those things. I've literally seen it myself. When I went into that deep work and disappeared and I started those businesses, my friends and family around me started creating businesses as well. They didn't create those businesses before that. And I was there to help them. They saw that I could create this and they knew that I could help them in this situation. So I absolutely did. I absolutely helped them build their businesses as well. So when I say that reading books on personal finance and educating yourself will change your destiny and change the destiny of people around you and change the entire bloodline of those people around you, 
that is absolutely not an understatement it is absolutely not an understatement that everything people around you people that are close to you their destinies also change forever for the better stay consistent and be patient if you are starting to think that this is just not kicking off it's just not blowing up the way that you expected. I'm going to remind you of a common saying. This common saying is for a reason because it is true. You overestimate what you can achieve in one year, but you underestimate what you can achieve in 10 years. Really think about that. So when you are thinking it's just not kicking off, you're probably in year one. You have overestimated what you can achieve. But trust me, when you get to year 10, trust me, when you get to year 10, you have underestimated what you can achieve. What you achieved is far beyond that you ever dreamed or ever imagined doing. So stay consistent, stay patient, know your path, know your journey, know your goals, know your next step, know your roadmap, know that you are on the correct path and you will reach your target. Just stay patient. You just need a little bit longer. You are one inch from gold. If you are thinking of giving up, you are just one inch from gold. When like a miner, you're digging away at just nothing but dirt and rocks and rubble. You are one inch from gold. Just when you think you're going to give up, you are one inch from gold. It's just there. It's just in front of you. Just keep on going. Stay patient. Stay consistent. And just keep going. Thank you for getting this far in the video. I'd love to know what you think of this video. I'd also like to know what type of videos that you would like to see around my niche. You're clearly watching this for a reason. You've clearly got to the end for a reason. Please leave a comment in the description below and let me know what type of videos you would like to see. I am noting down all the videos that are in my comments that people say that they want to see and I will be making a video on that. If you leave a comment in the link below, I will create a video on that topic. If you like this video, you may find it interesting to watch my journey on YouTube and my goals to reach monetization on YouTube from the very, very beginning. So hit this playlist and watch my monetization journey on YouTube from the very first video.